Hello and welcome gorgeous Virgo to your weekly reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for you. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading. This is how Spirit speaks directly to you of course. You may see a sign or symbol or message on one or several of the cards. If you do take notice of that, there is a direct message from Spirit in here for you. So let's take a look at your first few cards here. The answer is yes, or it's going to be a yes. If you're waiting on an answer or reply, if you're waiting for a door to open, the answer is yes. Your intuition is correct. So when it comes to this, um, this knowing, mm, don't dismiss it because you either have this knowing at the moment or you're going to uh, this week have an understanding or a deep intuition or a knowing. Don't dismiss this and take action according to this intuition. Your intuition is correct. Beautiful waves of prosperity, new abundance and exciting opportunities wash over you now. So there is a newness of abundance in the way that you need it the most. It may be financially and maybe emotionally. It might be a renewal in a relationship or in your workspace. But there are going to be... Mm, there's going to be an upliftment, a prosperity, an abundance that flows through that you will see this week. You, you will really see it. And we have the card of rest. You've been working hard. Take a nap and get some rest. So perhaps you are actually quite tired or exhausted about a situation. Make sure that you take care of yourself. First and foremost, take care of yourself. Maybe more rest is needed. Let's see what this uh, this deck reveals. Guidance for a Virgo, please, Spirit. Okay, these three here. Prosperity. So we have two cards here. Speaking of the same energy. Speaking of prosperity. So this is a big energy coming in for the week ahead and it will start to unfold this week but also in the weeks ahead and it may come totally unexpected into your life but it's coming. Dreams come true when these cards show up. A great abundance, a great upliftment. The universe is pouring its abundance out to you. Be open to receiving be open to receiving this abundance. So stay open with your heart, with your mind, with your expectation. Easy does it. There is no need to hurry or force things to happen. Things will happen in their own time. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. Don't feel like you're needing to force things or to rush things. The home environment. Now, this is going to be important in some way. Your household situation is improving, either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants or in some other way. Your home where you're living is coming into focus. There's an important change happening here. Guidance for Virgo, please, Spirit. Guidance for Virgo. So we have water. So you may have a water sign in your life of significance, a Cancer, a Scorpio or a Pisces. Drink more water and eat fruits with water in them, such as fresh fruits and vegetables. So that may be important to you. Water can also mean that you're feeling drawn to or you're going to be around a body of water, the ocean, a lake, a river. Wish upon a star. Make a wish and expect the very best. Put out those positive intentions because a dream is coming true. 
Now you may see it this week, but it may also take time to play out. So also remember, it can take time to play out, but throughout those positive vibes and intentions and they will come back to you. You're going to be seeing some friends. This week is an important week for social interactions. True friends stick together no matter what. You have a best friend. You've got a buddy. You have someone that you are getting closer to. Getting closer to. That's what I'm seeing. Spending more time with or wanting to spend more time with. We'll take it one step at a time. No need to rush. Lots of little steps make big dreams come true. Mm -hmm. Guidance for Virgo, please, Vera. Guidance for Virgo. A child's love. So we may have a parent-child relationship dynamic coming into focus. There may be important conversations with your child or with your parents. The love between a parent and child is one of the most precious and deep connections we make during our time on earth. Children start out as part of us and from their first cries they establish themselves as the biggest part of our hearts. Um, so yeah, we have a beautiful connection here or an importance on this parent-child relationship. You may be having some strong memories, maybe about a child or about a grandchild or your parents or grandparents could be related to this card here. You may also have some memories that are traumatic or they might be causing you suffering at the moment. I'm being drawn to say that just take it one step at a time. Lots of little steps will bring you out of this crisis. Your memories are like diamonds in the treasure chest of your spirit. More and more memories are arising within you. Remember the happier moments with your loved ones who are here in the spirit world. For neither time nor distance can stop the energy of love that you have for one another. Mm. Maybe some nostalgia. Vulnerability. You're feeling very vulnerable at the moment. Now is this in your work situation or in your personal life? This is confirmation that you're seeking to tread into the unknown. Maybe you're needing to be vulnerable, unfamiliar territory where decisions are based more on intuition rather than rationality. Don't let fear hold you back or allow a misguided sense that feeling vulnerable is somehow a negative condition. So expect to feel a little bit vulnerable in a situation this week and that's perfectly natural, that's perfectly fine. Don't be afraid to be vulnerable with someone. The two of thoughts. Your angels have noticed that you're not moving forward. There's something you're holding on to. You're not moving forward past a situation that you need to. You have multiple options that you're reviewing and you seem to be unable to choose. Ask your angels for signs as to what direction to take or just listen to your own inner voice. Deep down, you know what to do. So listen to that, that feeling deep down, you already know the answer. You're being called upon to claim your personal power, taking back your personal power in some way is important here. Feeling confident as your angels will give you the strength to say no when it's the right thing to do for yourself. Your struggle may actually stem from an unresolved inner conflict rather than a conflict with others. So that may also ring true for you. There may be a successful completion. There may be a, it's a time of accomplishment. There's a, there's a culmination of energies actually that, that's happening here. This is a time of incredible accomplishment. You're justified in feeling joy, a sense of completion and pride in the amazing job that you have done, regardless of what the situation actually is, what you have put into this, this this situation, this relationship, or this, this whatever effort it is that you've done, have pride in how you handled yourself or are handling yourself. You've been blessed with many spiritual insights. 
Soon you begin a new journey, but for now take time to bask in the happiness of your dreams coming true. This is an ace energy and it's a thought, so um, there's going to be new ideas. This cherub has arrived to congratulate you for your brilliant new idea, which is truly inspired. So inspired ideas coming this week. It's important to communicate clearly and thoroughly with others who are involved in the implementation of your idea. Don't be dissuaded by little challenges along the way. These are merely course corrections and perfect for your plan. So don't be swayed off course if things change slightly along the way. And this is a time of learning. Maybe you're thinking about going back to school or putting some effort, energy into education. So it's a time of learning and honing your skills. You may feel inspired to go back to school, take seminars on topics that fascinate you or educate yourself on the healing arts. This is a good time to change jobs or make a career move. The key to success is in the details, so monitor your projects carefully. And your final card is the Helper of Thought. Your life is about to start moving forward very fast, so if there has been stagnation, if there has been an energy of not moving forward, um, hold on because things are going to get uh, moving. Events that seem to be on hold suddenly require all your attention. There's no time to sit and ponder. You just have to go with it and take action, perhaps. You've got to get moving. Review the details as best you can. You know we'll meet or ask someone with a very quick mind who instantly grasps what to do. And this person is both confident and courageous. You've got some powerful energies coming through this week, Virgo. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.